friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you're notified of all of my uploads. I'm gonna try to upload on this channel as much as possible in December because I just miss filming like good old fashioned beauty videos. I'm also into filming like new mom content. So if you're new around here, I just had a baby 14 days ago, the day I'm filming this. Um, I've done a couple of videos. I did my labor and delivery story, what's in my hospital bag. Um, there will be a postpartum video that's going to be wild because I have been going through some things, but lots of beauty videos and like new mom stuff. And also if you want to see baby and like travel vlogs, that'll be on the vlog channel. And then I also have a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs for 10 years has been reselling clothing, shoes, handbags, accessories. I always tell you guys, I even sold a car on eBay. Um, I sell on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and I made a whole channel that's just a business channel basically telling you how much money I make, tips and tricks. So if you're interested in that, link to those two channels down below. I have a good old fashioned Ulta haul for you here, friends. Anybody else shop Ulta for Black Friday or Cyber Monday? 2020, I have, uh, this has probably been the least amount of makeup and beauty products I have purchased in like 10 years. As most of you probably experienced too, we have to wear masks. So first of all, like 50% of my face has been covered this entire year. I don't really go anywhere for most of 2020. For nine months of 2020, I was pregnant. So I was like in strict quarantine. I still am postpartum. So it just was like, what's the point in buying a crap ton of makeup? I don't go anywhere. I do wear a lot of makeup when I film though. So I've bought a couple things, but you guys, I usually, this is embarrassing. I was looking back because YouTube's part of my job too. I usually spend thousands on makeup and beauty products. I think this year I've probably spent less than 500 bucks. It's been great for my savings. I, even in, um, for uh, Sephora, I used to be VIB Rouge. I thought I was like a, what's the next one under it? I should know this. I did a video detailing all of it. I'm not even the next one under. I think it's Insider. I'm just a VIB. <laughs> That's, I've just really fallen off. So I was really excited to do this Ulta order. Let's jump in. This is everything I purchased um, Black Friday. As you, was it Black Friday or Cyber Monday? Black Friday. As you can tell, I didn't go in the store. I didn't do any Black Friday shopping in the store. Let me know if you guys did. I feel like everybody was just doing it online. The majority of people, cause hello, COVID times. So I don't really remember what I got. I know I purchased a lot of fake nails. <laughs> Another thing I've really gotten into is 2020 is doing my own nails. I either paint them or I do glue on. You guys know I'm a huge fan of glue on. They're easy. They last. I mean, when I go get a manicure, it lasts like a day or two. I don't know why. Like unless I get fake nails put on, they just don't last. So, and for glue on nails, a lot of people ask me, they're like, well, don't they fall off? But yeah, if one pops off, I keep it in my purse because they always give you extra. They give you like 10 or 15 extra nails. You just pop it on, glue it on, it's great. I love it, you guys. I can't stand, it's so odd. I love getting pedicures. I cannot stand getting manicures. So let's jump in. Ooh, I see some goodies. I think total, you guys, I got a good deal. I think I spent under 140 bucks. First up, I always stock up on um, lashes on Black Friday. I just find great deals. So I picked up the Eyelore Lux Silk. This is a three pack. These are very dramatic. They're very full. I'll show you close-ups of all this stuff. I like to use these to film in um, because my eyes are so big. I feel like, and because I sit so far back, it just makes my eyes look a little bit more open. I don't know, it's weird. My eyes are big, but they're almond shaped. I don't know. I need big lashes to accentuate my almond shaped eyes. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I lure is one of my favorite drugstore lash brands. I always pick, I also picked up some Whipsy. Oh my God. I cannot talk. I keep telling you guys, I'm like, when is pregnancy brain going to go away? Because I've had the baby now and I'm still an idiot. Wispy lights. These are more for like everyday natural wear. Uh, <laughs> I did pick up a lot of nails. I love to pick up the Kiss brand. You can find it anywhere, like at any drugstore, CVS, Walmart, Rite Aid, um, but they were on sale for five bucks. And you guys, usually at CVS, these are like $8.99 or higher. So I stocked up on these. I got these just like beige ones. 
Do they have a, a name or a style? It just says KGFSO1. Mm -hmm. And I like the ones that come with the glue. I do not use those press-on nails that just have like the sticky tab. Those do not last for me. Like I put them on and they literally pop off. I have to use the glue. So I like these. I bought a lot of Juvia's Place palettes. Um, Oh, do they all have plastic seals? Let me cut into it. I have been craving color, you guys. You, If you've been watching during my whole pregnancy, I've been doing like really neutral looks and I'm just over it. If you're new around here, I love colorful eyeshadow looks. So I picked up a lot of Juvia's Place because it was on like a big sale on Black Friday. This is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's and... I might be a little late to the game, but I don't think I realized that Juvia's Place is a black owned brand. So I'm ch I told you guys I'm trying to support more black owned brands. So I was like, let me stock up. So this is beautiful and it's some of my favorite colors. It has purple in there, it has pink. There's some shimmers, there's some mattes. I'm very excited to try that out. More nails. This is Impress Press On Manicure. This is the Couture Collection. Oh, these are so pretty. The oh no. I think these are the ones that I just told you that don't require glue. I'm not gonna use these. These are the ones that you use the little tab. They're so cute. I'll probably give these, I hope my mom's not watching. I give her a lot of these like in a little Christmas stocking and she loves it. I got her turned on to um, press on nails. So I'll probably pass those on to her. I did pick up a foundation. This one is really highly reviewed. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. You guys know I love a full coverage moment. Got Dang it, this color is not good for me, I don't think. I was really struggling on the color match and I'm usually so good about color matching myself even online. Dang it, I don't know, let's see. I am pretty light in the winter. This is the shade Tan Deep Golden. Oh no, this was not good. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, that's really not my color. Shoot. And I like this. This is some thick foundation. So I'm going to have to exchange this. Darn, I'm usually so good about shade matching myself online. But this one really threw me for a loop because it looked a lot darker online. I'm not even going to try that. That would be like doing white face, I feel like. I'm going to exchange that. Some more nails. Ooh, this is pretty. It's like an ombre pink. I'll show you close-ups because I feel like you can't really see it. It's like ombre pink, and then it has some glitter. These are so long. I don't like super long nails. I don't know how y'all do it. I cannot type. I cannot function. I always um, trim them and then and then file them down. I can't do super long. Dang, I got a lot of nails, you guys. These I've actually picked up in the store. They're like jeweled and they have the ombre. And usually in the store, these are the ones that are like 12 bucks at CVS. And I got them for $5. Stock up on the nails because I cannot stand doing manicures. Next up, another Juvia's Place palette. This is Af... What is it? Afric? Okay, I'm going to butcher that. I should know how to say that. Afrique by Juvia's. I know how to say that word. I just can't recall, okay? I liked the color story here. I liked the combo of green, yellow. It's very hard to find a yellow that's good. I'll have to keep you posted on this. I have tried so many yellow eyeshadows. There must be something about the formulation of yellow. They are always so powdery in every palette I've tried, so I'll let you know. Let's swatch it. Oh, that's super powdery. I don't know. I think yellow must be hard to formulate because I've tried it in high-end brands, affordable brands, and they usually just look like that and they barely show up on the skin. Must be tough. Uh, another, wow, I really stocked up on Juvia's Place. This is the Warrior 3. Let's see how this one goes. I reuse all of this packaging. Like I told you, I'm a reseller, so I use that when I ship things out. Ooh, I like the pan size. Yellow, green, pink, purple. Ooh, we're gonna have some fun with these palettes. I'm very excited. You're gonna be seeing a lot of colorful looks from me. I picked up two It Cosmetics brushes. What is this one? I love these brushes, they last me so long. So this is the Precision Shadow Brush, and then 
the Essential Concealer Brush. That I never use these brushes for concealer. I always use them as just like an all over shadow brush, but you guys know you can use brushes for whatever. The It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta, I always recommend getting them on sale. You guys, they last me for years. I love them, they're really good quality. And then I told you, I stock up on lashes. So I got the 12 Days of Wispies from it, um, Ardell. I was gonna say Ipsy, cause it's pink. I just did my December Ipsy unboxing video. So if you wanna see that, I will leave a link to it down below. I've never purchased anything like this before. How do you open it? So it's, is, is it kind of like an advent calendar? If I could get it open. Oh yeah, it's an advent calendar, fun because I love a lash. I told you guys I never come on camera without lashes. This was kind of expensive for what it was. Well, I guess not, considering you get 12 pairs of eyelashes, and I usually pay like five bucks each for Ardell, so actually that's a really good deal. This was like marked down, I think, to 22 bucks. If they still have it available, I'll leave a link to it down below, but they're all different wispies, so you get the Demi Wispies, the Baby Wispies, the Double Wispies, the Double Demi Wispies. I didn't even know they had all these Wispies. I like wearing the Wispies for more of a natural look. Um, the Wispies 113, the Wispies 600. I mean, who knew? With stuff like this, you guys might think this is kind of silly, but I actually will wrap it and put it under the tree and just open up Christmas presents from myself to myself because who knows myself better than myself and I give myself the best gifts and it just makes me happy. So I'm probably going, even though this is an advent calendar so you're supposed to open it like every two days because how many days are there? There's 12 days plus a bonus one. So you're supposed to open it throughout the month of December but it just make me happy to open it on Christmas day. Like I do that for gift sets and things. So that's everything I got. I will leave a link down below. Let me know in the comments what you picked up for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I tried to pick up stuff on Sephora. They had some good deals on perfume I wanted. Hello, my name is Nikki. I'm a perfume addict. I do not need any more perfume. I'm looking at my dresser right now and I have like 30. I don't need any more, but they were all sold out. There was this exclusive, was it Versace or Armani perfume? I really wanted, I clicked it and then it said sold out. I was like, you bastard. Why didn't you say sold out before I clicked it? So I didn't end up getting anything from Sephora. So I'll probably be staying at VIB status for a while because I haven't been shopping there much in 2020. I'm assuming 2021 will be different. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you shopped Ulta or Sephora. Let me know if you want to see more hauls because I'm, I'm definitely in the beauty buying mood. Uh, you can check out my most recent video right here.